How to share Unity project with someone. Well, that is what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments and let's get started right away. So what I basically want to show you guys in this video is um, the very first thing is how to actually collab with someone on a project. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up and how to collab with someone that you can work together on a single project file. And I also want to show you guys how to simply just share your project via um, Google and let the other person download it and then work on the project so you don't particularly collab on it. So the first, first thing which I'm going to show you guys is to collab on a project. So how do you set that up? Well, first of all, I am here in a project, as you guys can see, and I'm going to close this out first. And what I want to open is the Unity Hub. Now, this used to be a lot of uh, like a way more difficult task in order to set this up. But right now it's super easy. Once you have your project over here, you want to go to these three dots. Simply click on Use Unity Version Control. And it says Unity Version Control allows you to collaborate remotely on the same project with up to three people on the free tier. So here is uh, basically what everything is called. Then click on Connect to Version Control. And we will just have to wait a little bit for this. And it will automatically open it up again. Um, I'll show you guys uh, how you can check that you've actually set this up. So once all of this is done loading, on the left here, instead of only project console, it will also give you Unity version control. As you can see, here you can see all the pending changes, incoming changes, change sets, branches, and all of that. So in order to add more people to this, what you can do over here is go to this little icon, invite members to organization. This is also where you can upgrade your plan if you want to use more than the free tier. So if I click on invite members to organization, this website Unity Cloud will pop up. Now you, <clears throat> now for the very first time, you do have to, you know, log into this, but I already checked it out and I already logged in. So if you go to, for example, uh, dashboard, you can here see your projects. And what I want to do is go to administration and here you can see organization settings and also your organization members. And over here at the top, you want to click on invite organization members. If you click on here, you want to add their email and it says max five members at the same time. So you can also add multiple people at once. And here it says user type. So you can either have it as guest. Guests can only view a very selected set of data default. Uh, our user, default user with no admin permissions, limited edit access to services, and owner, full access to everything, including billing. So if you um, yeah, select what user type you want them to be, send the invite, they will get an invite probably via email or uh, somewhere in their account, accept it, and then they will also be able to access your project and see all of these uh, um settings as well now if you actually want to share your project um with someone instead of actually like collabing on it but just to share it you know via email for example then what you can actually do is open up google and go to this website over here called wetransfer.com now here you can upload uh basically anything you would like to and in order to share your project you want to click on these three dots click on show in explorer then right over here we have our project Double click on that. And currently this project, since I just created it, is a pretty small file. Now, if you work a lot on your project, you have a big uh, project, then it might be even like 10 gigabytes. And in order to send all of that is not really optimal. So what we can do is actually delete a couple of folders, such as the build folder, the logs folder, the OBJ folder, and the temp folder. These are actually ones that we can delete. So if you delete all of these, your whole storage or your file size will decrease significantly. Could be from like 10 gigabytes to like 30. Super easy. And once you have done that, what you can then do is go back, right click on here, simply click on, um, if you do not have WinRAR, 
simply click on send to and then compress as zipped folder. Uh, if you do have WinRAR, you can also just click on add to archive. And once you have basically zipped this whole uh, folder, you will get this over here. And then we can actually go back to uh, we transfer. We can get our folder, simply drag and drop that in here. We have now added it over here. You can simply click on uh, add their email, add your email, and then click on transfer. That's also how to share Unity project with someone.